So before I cover today's topic, I would like to tell you about a tool that is Tenoshare 4 u Key. This tool can easily fix your iOS screen lock issues, MDM unlock, unlock screen time passcode and many more things and the tool is available for both Windows and Mac. After installation, you can run the tool. Now here you will get so many options to unlock iOS screen lock, unlock Apple ID, unlock screen time passcode, also unlock the MDM lock. So let me just select the remove screen time passcode option. Now I have a device that is on the screen time passcode. Now just click on next and start unlock. Now you can see it successfully removed the screen time passcode from my iPhone and now you can easily set the new one. So if you are interested in this tool you can check out the description link for the complete information. Alright so now let's continue today's topic. So in today's video I will show you how you can enter in the iPhone DFU mode on your iPhone's iPad on latest iOS 16 or 15 or lower for free. Now you can easily enter in a single click. This is the requested video from my viewers that they need a tool that can help you to pawn DFU mode on your Mac as well as on the Windows. For the Windows tool, I have already made a video so you can check them out. But for the Mac OS, there is currently no direct tool. So I will show you how you can enter that in a single click. All right, first you need this zip file for that. You can download this zip file for free. You can just check out the description blog link and you can easily download the file from there. Now on that, first you need to extract it. Now once you extract, you will get a data folder inside that there are different kind of font if you files for different models like gaster iPhone dfu 32 lipsa 7000 7001 8000 and 8003 all these are important files as per the model you can select and do the point if you mode on your device also you will get the fugu in that you will get the shell code like you can get the checkmate as all these files are based on the checkmate exploit so you can run up to the iPhone X now the next step you will asking me how you can run these files to enter in the point if you mode in the GUI app so it's very easy I will just show you how you can do that first you need to open the terminal first we need to give the sudo and the chmod permission to these files so write chmod and then plus x give a space and just enter that file just drag and drop on the terminal now it might be possible after you drag and drop that file and press on enter it will ask your mac os password so you can enter your macbook password after that it will done so now you can see we have give the chmod permission to that file now you can see it's going on the executable file now just drag and drop again on the terminal and hit on enter after that it will run the gui mode application now you can minimize that terminal don't close that terminal otherwise it might be close that app so now you can see that on the app you will get all the modes also there are the auto mode if you don't know which mode you have to select for the model you can select the auto mode or if you have good technical knowledge on these things you can select the particular mode according to your model you can select the different bond if you mode so now you can see that i've shown you the app how you can run it now let's try the practical mode and on the device hands on and also if you don't know which models are supported for the iPhones or iPad you can check the help and lock section you will get all these models so you can see the checkmate exploit based on the models like iPhone 5s to iPhone X and also some lower models and the iPads also so you can check the list on the screen after that first you need to put your device into the DFU mode in order to pawn the device so now you can see that I have entered in the DFU mode you can check out the black screen now just click on the pawn DFU mode now you will see that it's going some processing and your iTunes will might pop up 2-3 times so just close that. So now you can see that we have get the success. To confirm the mode you can see that on the HFZ tool also we have entered in the pawn DFU mode. So now you can see that like this you can enter in the pawn DFU mode on any device that are supported. So let me just try it on the activation lock device also. Now same for the activation lock devices also, you need to put your device into DFU mode and then just click on the DFU mode button. You can do it on the latest iOS 16, 15 and lower also. So now you can see that we have successfully entered in the pawn DFU mode. Now I have shown you iOS 15 activation lock and normal device. Now I have another device that is the iPhone 8 that is currently running on the latest iOS 16. So the process is same. I will show you the pawn DFU mode is working on latest iOS 16 also. So now it's done as you can see that the latest iOS 16 is also working. 
you can confirm it by the hfz tool it's showing the pond dfu mode entered properly so by this way you can enter the pond dfu mode on various iphones and ios version so if you find this video useful for you just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool update i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out